both the demux and bus selector blocks are used to extract individual signals from the composite signal however there is difference in several things things like input requirements and output behavior in this video we are going to explore the same thing so without wasting time let's get started so first let me bring bus selector to the blank model file bus selector so this is how the bus selector looks like and now we are going to import dmux and this is the dmux so this is how bus selector looks like and this is how dmux looks like now in order to understand the differences between dmux and bus selector what we will do we will take one readymade simulation that we have made previously in our previous video where i have explained how to regulate the speed of dc motor right so we will use that simulation and we'll see what is the difference between dmux and bus selector so let's jump to that simulation okay so here we are in the simulation this is the dmux and this is the bus selector this dmux block is used to separate the composite signal or bus into individual signals like this this is composite signal and these are the individual signals generally it takes a single input signal or a bus and provides multiple output ports and each port will give a separate signal the number of output port is determined by the number of signals in input so this is basically the dmux now if we talk about the bus selector bus selector block is used to extract the specific signal from the bus it takes a bus signal or a composite signal from the input and allows you to select one or more signal from the bus using signal names or signal indexes it provides multiple output ports each port corresponding to the selected signal the number of output port is determined by the number of selected signal and this is what the basically bus selector is now if we go into more detail there are some key differences between bus selector and dmux and now we'll explore what are the basic differences between them first we'll compare the input type here we are giving input to bus selector and dmux from the measurement port of this motor basically this is the dc motor the parameter you can see on the display right so this is the measurement port of this dc motor and there are multiple signals generated in this measurement port and both this dmux and bus selector are transferring those multiple signals and converting into individual signals now we'll compare this dmux and bus selector using the type of input we give to both these blocks first we'll see this dmux basically dmux block accepts single signal or bus signal here we are giving multiple signals right a composite signal or a bus signal whereas this bus selector accepts bus signals it requires multiple signals in input so basically let me tell you what is the difference between single signal and bus signal basically single signal in simulink represents scalar value or a vector value it is simply one dimensional data signal that carries single value or sequence of values over the time single signals are often used to represent variables such as sensor reading control signals or intermediary calculations within the model now if we talk about the bus signals a bus signal is known as a bus object or a bus it composite data structure that can hold multiple signals or the value of different types so this is the key difference between single signal and a bus signal now if we compare both this bus selector and dmux for its output ports right so basically the dmux block provide multiple output ports and those output ports you can see over here and by double clicking it you can control the number of output port you want and this dmux automatically separates the input into individual signals and give it as an output now if we talk about bus selector it is also provide multiple output ports but the number of output port is determined by the number of selected signals if you double click it you will be able to see these are the numbers of signals that is available into the input of bus selector now we'll just remove all the signals right 
and you can add whichever signal you want to see in output you can select any one of these four you can select two or you can select all of them you can even arrange the sequence of the signals if you want to bring it up you can bring it up or if you want to bring it down you can bring it down so this step of customization is available with the bus selector which is not possible with the dmux here in dmux you do not need to explicitly specify which signal to extract it automatically separates input signals and give it to you whereas in bus selector you need to select which signal you want to extract in which sequence you want to arrange them and then you will get the output one more important key difference is output signal name when you are using bus selector the output port are automatically named based on the selected signals from the bus each output port is labeled with the name of corresponding selected signals whereas if we talk about dmux in dmux the ready made signal name is not available what you supposed to do you supposed to click it right click it go to the properties and over here in signal name you supposed to enter the name of the signal so when you run the simulation when you open the scope which is connected to dmux you cannot see any signal labeled over here whereas in bus selector you will be able to see the labeling of the signals there are few more small differences are there in between these two but i think for regular work this much of information is enough if you want to know more then write that thing in comments below and if you want to explore similar interesting tutorials on simulink just jump to this playlist and explore simulink and if you want to go for entire matlab tutorials then you can jump over here so see you in next video